would turn your Bibles to the book of Malachi. One verse, chapter one. Malachi, the word Malachi, I think, uh, yes, I remember it means my messenger. But uh, the burden of Malachi was great during these times. And after Malachi wrote his uh, scriptures here, there was a space of about 400 years that there was not anything heard from any of the right writers or of the people and then of course Malachi foretells about John the Baptist but anyway in verse 1 of the book of Malachi it says the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi now this is wrote to Israel and uh, we have we have obtained grace whereas Ma uh, Malachi was writing to a uh, a, a country that was under the law, and uh, this is this is the last of the, of the letters to Israel concerning the law and all this. And then, uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, Jesus uh, has come on the scene after this. But anyway, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, and the Lord is saying uh, through Malachi, "I have loved you," saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob. So this morning, as we uh, look upon this, we want to we want to put our ourselves uh, as close to the Israelite people as we can and obtain what we can that he said to the Israelite people uh, concerning their sins. And we, uh, this morning, are far, uh, far greater in some ways than they were because we have more knowledge of God's grace than they did. And uh, they were always, they had to do, uh, uh, they had to make uh, atonements through animals and things of this nature. And uh, so he says here, I hated Esau and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Now this is this is what this is what is going on with Israel right now, uh, even today, because Israel has not or the, the Israelites have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. Uh, they say he was a good man, but they they're saying that God is their Savior, but they don't recognize Jesus Christ as right. their Savior. And so uh, they were told this time and time and time and time again by the prophets saying that there's one coming. There's one coming. And uh, they were looking forward to it. And they were looking forward to seeing it come. But the, the devil blocked their eyes mm -hmm. uh, sin blocked their eyes and they did not see him they missed him completely they rejected Jesus Christ as their Messiah and so they're still in this dark condition and one day the Bible says that their eyes will be open when they see Jesus Christ appear in the sky and uh, we we're looking forward to that ourselves but Amen. they they will see it also but he says here here that uh, whereas Eden or Esau, uh, this this place was built, whereas Eden said, we are impoverished, and this was Esau, but we will return and build the desolate place. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the borders of the wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And so they are they are going on on their works and saying, we will do this. And the thing of it is, they're still with this, this on their minds is, we will do it. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, we ought to understand this morning that so great a multitude 
of the Gentiles today are saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. We will do it. <clears throat> we will, we, I, I've done this and I've done this and I deserve a place in heaven. Well, that's wrong. <laughs> Amen. And it will never work. The law would never save, but it took grace to save. And here we're talking about the law and what that the law had for them. Now notice, here what they will do. The, uh, in verse 5, uh, that, in verse 4, they shall build, they shall build, but I will fall down, and they shall call them the borders of the wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath in the next verse. And your eyes shall see, and you shall say, the Lord will be magnified from the border of borders of Israel. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? Uh, he says, and if I be master, where is my fear? Says the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name, and ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? Now, they refuse they refused to accept anything except what they could do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and here God is calling, talking to these, these people and saying, Hey, you've done these things, and you've done these things. Now, where is my honor? Now, we'll see here in just a few minutes what, what they were doing uh, in this. Notice here in verse 7. You offer polluted bread upon my altar... And you say, wherein have we polluted thee? Now the polluted bread that they're talking about was their works and their love towards God and their disobedience towards God. Because notice here in verse, uh, 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 the latter part of 7, in that you say, the table of the Lord is contemptible or unclean. <coughs> and if you offer the blind for the sacrifice, is it not evil? Now, they were taking their blind and lame animals and those that were culls and those that they couldn't sell and those that they didn't want to eat and they were offering them on the table of the, uh, or giving them to the priest to offer for offerings to cover their sins. And this was what Malachi is writing to these people about here and the thing that's so bad about this is or so uh, unbelievable in some ways is that after Jesus Christ came to this world and he had the books of the, of the New Testament wrote and it tells plainly how we are to do these things and how we are to serve him yet we go and offer polluted things right. towards God you say, I don't do it. Well, you do. Mm -hmm. You do, and you may not realize it, but this is something that we all need to do a little soul searching for and, and, and try to get ourselves a little bit closer to the Lord because lots and lots and lots of times we lay out a church. A lot and lots of times we don't read the scripture like we should. A lot of the times we will enjoy sports. We'll enjoy television. We'll enjoy these things and we'll get up there and hee-haw about it. And listen, we're not using what God has given right. us. And we're not acting like saved people. And this is the same way they were doing by offering those old crippled animals on the atonement for their sins. Because he says, and if you, in verse 8, now notice, and if you offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if you offer the lame and the sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with these or accept thy persons or thy works, saith the Lord of hosts. So we're seeing here that, 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 that God is saying to them, you're doing these things. And, and he's making note of it and he's, he's, he's reminding them, hey, you're doing these things. Now you go and offer it to someone uh, even to pay a debt that you owe. Will he accept it? No, he won't accept it because there's, it's no good to anybody. In fact, the business, a lot, of these, the, a lot of these animals that they were offering should have been put out of their misery and killed and right. buried or whatever or burnt. But listen, they offered them to God. 
And do we not do we not uh, think about sometimes when um, when we approach the tithe box, mm -hmm. or when we uh, when we get our money and uh, we start counting it out and saying I'm going to do this with this and this with this, and then the little boy says, "What about tithe?" Mm -hmm. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Uh, well, I did this and I did this. I can short this. We short. Sometimes we we have this thought. Listen, people, and it's it's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's wrong. If anything, when this comes, and you try it sometimes, when this thought comes to you, put in a little more. Mm -hmm. Just that's it's the devil, and he's he's stirring you, and he's. He's aggravating you and he's hindering you. And listen, when when these thoughts come about, and I'm not I'm not trying to get any more money uh, uh, for the church or anything, but listen, it's our duty, it's our duty to tithe and to tithe the right amount and not to to uh, short God. Amen. And listen, it's just like these people here with offering the lame and the sick and the blind and all of this. We are to do what we're supposed to do, and when 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 the devil comes around and says, "Well, you know, God understands that you need groceries, and God understands that you need medicine, and God needs understands that you got to pay your car payment." Well, what is the what is better to do without a car, to do without food, and to have God's blessings? Or go the other way and, and, and rob God, mm. and, and and he puts a he puts a curse on this thing when we when we rob God, and so this is what they were doing. Now notice, he says in verse nine, and now I pray you, beseech God that He will be gracious unto you. This has been by your means. Will He regard your person or your works? Saith the Lord of hosts. I don't think he will. I don't believe he will, and I want you to. I want you to see something here in the book of Hosea. What Hosea wrote in uh, in chapter thirteen in the book of Hosea. I'll give you a minute there to turn if you want to. In uh, in chapter thirteen of the book of Hosea, uh, five. <clears throat> in verse five of Hosea thirteen, he says, "I did know thee in the wilderness." In the land of great drought, according to their pastors, so were they filled. They were filled, and their hearts were exalted. Therefore have they forgotten me. Therefore I will be unto them as a lion, as a leopard by the way, will I observe them. I will meet them as a bear that is bereaved of her whelps, whelps and will rend the gall of their heart, and there will I devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me it is thine help. I will be thy king, where is any other that may save thee in all the cities, and thy judges of whom thou sayest, Give me a king and a prince. I gave thee a king in my honor, my anger, and took him away in my wrath. And he's talking about Saul. But this is some of the things that that uh, that Joel or uh, Jose is talking about here about what God can do. And you know, this morning, and I know too that that the blessings of God on a piece of bread is better than a million dollars in the bank. Amen. Uh, and, and 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 if you can't understand it, people, if you can't understand it, just give it a try and and, and try. Because Amen. he says here, he says, and now, uh, let's see, and, and verse 10, Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? Talking about doing something for God. He says, Neither do you kindle fire in my altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, says the Lord of hosts, neither will I accept an offering at your hand. Now this morning, if I if I try to if I try to give an offering, uh, an offering, and, and and not even my tithe, just an offering. Listen, and I felt like that the Lord was rejecting that. What an unhappy, what a fearful thing it would be for me. Mm -hmm. And He says here, this is what He'll do. He says, "I'll reject it." So he says, "I have no pleasure in you." In verse. Uh, 
and by a part of ten. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord of hosts, neither will I accept an offering at your hand. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great Amen. among the Gentiles, us, and in every place, like uh, incense shall be uh, offered upon my name, offered on my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathens. Amen. And uh, these, these are the people that God called the apple of his eye. Israel. And now he's saying here, hey, the heathens is the ones that's going to do it. Get it. He says, uh, says the Lord of in verse 12, he says, but ye have profaned it in that ye say the table of the Lord is polluted and the fruit thereof, even his meat, is contemptible. Ye say also, behold what a weariness it is. And, uh, when you when when people get to the point like like these people are, listen, uh, they're in bad shape. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it's sad to say, but Christians today they get in the same shape. Amen. They get backslidden. They get cold. They want to get out and do their thing, and they do not have that desire to serve the Lord. And they they want to just do what they will. And uh, and if it pleases the Lord and it don't please the Lord, they say, well, uh, he understands. Mm. And, uh, you know, that, that's the thing this morning. People will encourage, you know, you can say something, well, I didn't hardly have enough money this, this week to uh, do this or do that. Well, God understands. He'll know. Listen, God understands. He understands that you don't understand. Mm. It's, it's our problem that we don't understand God and we we need to uh, we need to sit back a little bit and and think about these things and and get in our in in the Bible and do some more praying and do some considering because listen we're his servants amen his son died for us he paid the, he paid the price and we're his and listen, when we don't do like He wants us to do, hey, problems is on the way. Amen. And listen, sometimes, sometimes they can be bad. And, and, and God has mercy on us sometimes, and He understands that we're in the flesh. But listen, that's still no excuse. <coughs> if, if you've got enough brains up here to read this word, you know when you do something that you shouldn't do. Right. Regardless if you're in the flesh or out of the flesh or whatever. But on with the lesson here. He says here in verse 12, But ye have profaned it in the say the table of the Lord. I've already read this, but then, Lord is polluted and the fruit thereof, even the meat of contentment. Yet ye say also, Behold what a weariness it is, and ye have snuffed at it, saith the Lord of hosts, and you brought that which was torn, and the lame, and the sick. Thus she brought an offering. Thus she, thus you brought an offering. Should I accept this of your hand, saith the Lord? But cursed be the deceiver which hath in his flock a male and vow and sac and sacrifices unto the Lord a corrupt thing. Amen. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathens. So we see here back in verse 8, notice he says, And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, <coughs> is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and the sick, is it not evil? And so again here he says that they did this and he said they're cursed. And people, that's a terrible thing this morning to think about being cursed of God. And we know that uh, in one place, and, I, and, and I, I'll tell you just this, that God cursed the ground. And you see what happened, he had briars and things sprung up on it. And so if we're cursed by God to uh, because we're not doing these things, 
Listen, we better get we better get rid of that thing. Amen. We better we better straighten up. We better get our act together because listen, more problems because listen, you're not going to outdo God. God is God is God, and He can do what He wants to. And and you say, well, why in the world are you saying? I want people to see how good it is to serve God. Amen. I want people to understand that because people don't understand no more people what good things it is that you can that you can pray to God that you can that you can feel His presence that you can see Him work just and, and do everything and help you and bless you Amen. Listen, because you love it. But listen, <coughs> when this old stubborn lip dropping things comes out and you want to short God and you want to say, well, he understands. No, he don't understand right. the way that you're talking about. But notice, notice again, I will go to verse to chapter two just a little bit. And now, oh you priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I will I I have cursed them already, because you you do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces. Even dung upon on your face, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it. And ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. So now he's talking, he's talking to all of these old these priests that were back there then that were accepting these broke-legged animals, these sick animals, these blind animals, and offering them up on a, on a sacrifice because, listen, they were just as much guilty as the people that offered Amen. Them. And they knew, they knew it's just like, it's just like this morning, people, in, in, in buildings all over this United States of ours called churches, there's people standing up there and, and, and saying, thus saith the Lord, and listen, it's a lie. It's not true, and it it will it will cause thousands of souls to never uh, understand the love of God because they tell them they they tickle their ears, mm -hmm. and when they walk out of there, they're happy as a lark, and they're patting him on the back and saying you did a good job. And if they could see the darkness of it, if they could see what's going on, they'd understand. Hey, I better run from this place mm -hmm. and get away from it. But yet they come back, and if if he gets up and says, hey, uh, the church is, uh, uh, you know, financially, oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. But the thing of it is, they're not doing it because they love the Lord. Right. And that, this morning, is the reason why that we should open up our eyes and understand when we come to church, we don't come just to be seen and just and to have a, a good conscience but we need to come and say lord i love you i'm going to your house this morning i want to serve you and 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 and, and proclaim your name because that's what it's all about amen it's, it's nothing to do that uh that you're helping god <laughs> listen you're, you're not helping god but the thing is this, you need to think about self. You need to say, well, I need to get there. Just like going to a, a table after you've been out uh, in the wilderness for two or three days and you're starving. And you, if you can get to that table and eat, Lord, it's going to help me. It ain't going to help the ones that provided the food, but it's going to help me. And that's what, it's, that's what it's all about here this morning, people. We come, we sing songs of praise, we pray, and we sit and listen. And... We should get a blessing, and if we don't, if we're not getting a blessing, don't blame the Sunday school teacher as much as you. You say, "Well, maybe it's me." Right. Maybe it's me. Maybe I and, and I, I I try that myself. Listen, so many times I I I, I slip up and I say, "Well, uh, I didn't get much this time." Well, why didn't you? Because you wasn't listening enough, and you wasn't paying close enough attention, or you you weren't in the you weren't in the right condition to receive what was put out. Because God sent it, and uh, it's good for you. So here we see these things. He says, 
he tells them what he'll do and now and he says uh, that he will he will uh, send all of this on them. He will curse them and he will not bless them. And this morning, uh, uh, the, the uh, Malachi two seventeen. I want to show you something here this morning. And he asked the question in verse uh, seventeen. Two at verse seventeen. Remember this: Ye have worried the Lord with your words. Yet you say, wherein have we worried him? When you say, everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them, or where is the God of judgment? And, you know, this is, this is, this is our country today. This is our country completely. For here it says here, you have worried God with your words, yet you say, wherein have we worried him? When you say everyone doth doeth evil. Everybody's mean except you. Uh, and, and so we're we're worrying we're worrying. Have we worried God? Yes, I think so. I think we worry God. I think that I think that He is uh, He's concerned and uh, if it wasn't for Jesus Christ sitting there on the right beside of him and said, hey, wait just a minute, you know, like like uh, Moses told God, so, mm -hmm. God just wait a little bit. He says, uh, you know these people, you know what they're all about, and if you do this, you know. But Jesus is sitting there, Father, I don't know what he, I don't know what he's saying, but I know one thing, he's, he's speaking up for us, and, and he said, that's mine. The blood is there. And he's mine, and I I understand he's 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 doing things he shouldn't do. I'll take the, I'll take it on me. Uh, I covered him. I'll take you know I'll take the responsibility. And so God is 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 he he sees us and we worry. Him. But the thing of it is, Jesus is there speaking for us, and so uh, that's one thing that we can thank the Lord Jesus every day for. Because he sits there, he take, he sits there and, 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 and vouches for us and says, "He's mine." Uh, uh, he's mine. So this morning, uh, I hope that what what we read here and what we've said will help you. Uh, I I have no no uh, thing to uh, say. I mean, it's it's. But I just the Lord laid this on my heart, and uh, I did what He said, and. Uh, Y'all, uh, y'all read it, think about it, and uh, pray about it, and maybe uh, uh, you'll get a blessing. If you didn't get a blessing this morning, well, just just think about it and read about it and uh, talk to God about it. And uh, this old man one time said, I heard him say, and he said, Hey, if you don't like my preaching, tell God on me, mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, He's the one who knows. And uh, if you don't like this, this the the scriptures uh, tell God you know, he, maybe he can do a, a better job next time so, but anyway I appreciate uh, you listening and uh, I thank you for uh, listening to my uh, reading this one thank you all